Hi Cancer, welcome to your March 2018 overview reading. This is good for you if you are a Sun, Moon, or Rising Cancer. Um, actually, I, I've been getting asked quite a bit how you can know your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. And so I posted my favorite site for a free natal chart generator on my Facebook page. So if you follow me on there, I posted it on there. Otherwise, you can go um, check that out. Okay, so I do have some announcements for the end. I have a giveaway coming up. I have all sorts of goodies for you. So stay tuned until the end if you're interested in that, um, that information. My cards just went all over the place. Um, and also, let me know how you like this spread. I'm doing something different than what I did in February. <clears throat> And so let me know in the comments if you guys like this style. It's a little bit different. Okay. All right, and then we have the timeline as usual. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with Oracle cards. First thing that is coming up for Cancer in March, the universe. So this is you tapping into unlimited abundance. That's really the message that's coming up is <clears throat> that there's so much going on behind the scenes that you can't see. And so it's kind of like there's, things are being handled in the background and so this is really a month of trust so that is what this is all about and then the other oracle card i have for you is imagine okay so imagine that the universe is working for you not against you um <clears throat> that is something that's really going to serve you in the coming months um Particularly, like this looks like it's going to extend beyond March. This is this is a lesson that keeps going, so it's really about opening up your mind, being um, tapping into the infinite possibilities of the many many ways that things could work out. Okay, so this is the central energy for you this month. We have the Nine of Rods. Um, this is really, really significant forward movement with projects and plans. I see this as being a really great month to, um, you know, get things done. This is super common for people in the Northern Hemisphere. Shifting into springtime is really when you feel a surge of energy. You know, we get more into the sun and the heat and as that starts to inspire new growth you have more motivation more energy to get things done so that's a theme that's been sprinkled throughout almost every single sign that i've read so far is that surge of energy particularly in march um but the other piece is this might be if you're in the southern hemisphere this is i need to get things done before things start winding down before it gets dark before i have less daylight so there's like that that second wind that you get to carry forward um before before things calm down now this card is about your earth body so this is your physical your physical body the one you can the one you feel and touch okay we have transformation transition liberation this is doing something that you've never done before a new practice a new like a, a revelation um, in terms of your physical health this could be a wake-up call like something that you really really need to take care of physically um, let me see I'm gonna clarify this Okay, so we have the Two of Swords. This is looking like you're not necessarily going to have all the answers around what's going on on a physical level, but the point is that you're in transition and your physical body is holding on to a lot of information on your healing process, your emotional body, as well as your astral body. So it's kind of like this is where it shows up. All of the things that you ignore or put to the side, they're going to manifest physically. 
So this, what this is looking like is something is calling your attention to take care of your, your physical body. So there's something emotional that it, it looks like this is emotionally connected. Okay, this is your higher self. So this is the part of you that dreams. This is the part of you that receives psychic information. And we have the page of acorns. This is also the page of rods. So there's a couple of things that are coming up for this card. One is the idea that there's a lot of chatter going on. That was the first thing that came up with the monkey is like the monkey mind, right? Because this is your higher self. This is like um, a lot of it has to do with crown. That's where you're exercising this. And so I'm seeing this as having a lot of chatter going on, a lot of um, unnecessary thoughts. It might be a little bit more anxious uh, this month. And so it's really about learning how to decipher what is real and what is just kind of your mind. Um, like what's, what's a fear-based thought and then what's an intuitive thought. It, it looks like there's some differentiation happening there. Okay, and then we have the Page of Pentacles. So this is, you're in the middle of getting a lot of ideas and having lots of stuff come through. And so sometimes if you get overwhelmed with information, it can seem like chaos. And so this is simply about doing a lot of work to calm that part of yourself down. So it's a great time for you to meditate. It's a great time for you to sink into the feelings of, um, how to align yourself with other things that are going on. And that's going to be a huge um, benefit for you. So try something new in the realm because th this is the like the entrepreneur card, but it's not looking like a business venture. It's about trying something new with your spirituality. This is your emotional body. So what's going on for you emotionally in the month of March? We have Ace of Crystals. So um, manifestation, it's kind of like you are creating your reality every single day. And don't forget that. That's the message that's coming through is you are in charge of your outlook. You really are. You're the boss of it. You have more autonomy than you probably realize and you have more say in your attitude and perspective towards things and so this is you coming into power and realization with that fact and then the clarifier is the devil so it's the negative thought forms that don't really serve you it's it's not anything um that you can't handle it's just that sometimes there are things that come up that are like you know, trying to trip you up. There, there are lessons for you, but but just know that those are old patterns. Um, you are initiating a new way of thinking, and that's part of the transition that you're experiencing on a physical level. Um, it also has to do with your mentality. So one of the things you might realize, and I say this often, but the emotional body and the physical body are super, super, super connected. And so that's why there's always been the phenomenon of, when you're in more of a depressed or, or a sad state where you're experiencing more intense emotion, your pain body is activated and you will physically experience more pain than someone who's in a good mood. It doesn't mean you're not going to have a bad day. It doesn't mean you can't be sad. But just know that these two things are strongly connected for you in March. Now, this is the shadow self. And what I mean by shadow self is I, I call this the id position, the the impulsive, insatiable part of yourself, the, the one that wants immediate gratification. Okay, so you have the hermit. It looks like um, it's asleep. I don't see a lot of impulsivity or kind of, um, I don't see you as having to confront the shadow self um, in a way that it's been coming up for other signs. A lot of people or a lot of uh, the signs have been coming up as staying pretty grounded as well. So there are some collective themes on a larger scale that are coming into play here. But really, this just looks like there are 
bigger things going on in your emotional center and your physical center that are in transition for you in March. And so this isn't so much about um, doing shadow work. It doesn't, that's really not what's coming up. I'm going to pull a clarifier. Okay. And you have page of swords. Yeah. So this is, um, there's like some sleepiness to this again. Um, because let's see, we have the sun there. This is something that is asleep because you're dealing with these. I don't, I don't see this waking up for a while. Um, because we all do shadow work. It comes, it, it fluctuates, it ebbs and flows. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's just part of our existence and who we are. And so, right now it looks dormant, but it doesn't mean that. Um, you know, because sometimes there are people who are going through like really intense shadow work. So especially if you're dealing with things like addiction or unhealthy patterns, things like that often activate the shadow self. And so it just doesn't look like that's, um, as relevant for you this month as the emotional, physical connection. Okay, so for the timeline, this is your growth period. We have conflict. These are all going to be upside down, by the way, so I apologize. Okay, so conflict, you have between the head and the heart. Again, what's real and what is fear? That's what I was talking about in the spiritual self. So anything that makes you feel like it's it's chaos, destruction, hopelessness, that isn't, um, that's not your higher self. It, to put it lightly, that's that's not you, right? So it looks like there's some conflict there. I'm gonna clarify this actually because I want to get some more information for you. The Hierophant, yeah. So this is you tapping more into the logical self, um, really having to ground yourself and try to stay as rational and reasonable as possible. It looks like if it looks like the fear portion is coming from the heart. Um, and you know, there's like a certain level of vulnerability that is, um, that you're experiencing some resistance to, uh, which is okay. You know, it, it's like you have all this other stuff going on. And so it's normal for this to be active. Okay, second quarter, spiritual suffering. Okay, now this is, I really want to clarify it because I want to give it context for you. I don't want it to just be like, oh, you're in, you're in pain, you're in pain, you're in pain. That's really not what's happening. King of hats. Again, we have another picture of vulnerability, right? So um, matters of the heart are typically the most challenging, the most painful to recover from. And as you go through this, it's, it's okay. It's, it's okay to be in pain. It's okay, um, to feel whatever you're experiencing. There's no right way to go through this process. You're doing your own thing. So, Make sure that you are honoring this within yourself. And it's just about trusting that things are working out, but you're in a big transition right now. So it's completely okay for these things to be coming up. Third quarter, you have beginnings. This is where this is the tipping point. So this is where it's at its peak, right? It's it's at the most intensity in terms of healing. Um wounds that you have that happens in the second quarter and then you have new be you have beginnings so starting fresh starting over having things come up for you that you've really been hoping and praying for and then the fourth quarter wrapping up march we have sacral chakra make sure you're working those boundaries make sure that you are taking your time that you're being clear about what you want and what you need and that you're not settling just to please others. That's one of the things that might set you back or make you put you back into this position of feeling conflicted. So make sure you're you're taking care of yourself as always. You know I I always encourage that. 
Now I am going to pull some cards for relationship. Um, one card is for if you're in partnership currently, and the second card is for if you are single, if you're looking, if you're dating, if you are not interested in partnership at all. This is for you, okay? So, for those of you in partnership, we have 10 of coins. Okay, stability, foundation, building. This looks like a good, your, your partnership is a, a good supporter during this month. It's kind of like you understand each other, you see each other clearly, and you're able to build with each other. But it does look a little bit sticky right here. And so it's kind of like the more you are able to like keep yourself grounded, really use your logic and, and checking in on reality while continuing to show vulnerability in small ways. You know, it's not a linear process. It's not like this universal thing where cancers are always heart-centered or always open-hearted. That's not always the case. And then if you are single, looking for love, not looking for love, this is the card for you. We have Queen of Swords. This is honoring the part of yourself that is independent. What I mean by that is honoring your own existence free of relationship. That is something that, um, you know, it's kind of like if you shame that part of yourself, then it, then it, you're giving it more attention. And so it's something that you can honor without uh, frowning upon. And so it's it's one of those things that it's like just just own that, own your capacity for um, freedom. And that's either going to give you a lot of healing during this time, or it is going to support you in manifesting partnerships. So it goes both ways. Now this is a three card pick that I'm doing. Go ahead and select a card that works for you or pick all three or wait till I flip them over or whatever you want. Um, th these are for you, so I don't care what you do with them. Do whatever resonates, whatever feels right for you. Okay, card number one, five of cups, disappointment, things not really going your way and just feeling like it's, um, there's a little bit of doom and gloom here, right? So it's, it's not as bad as you think. You just have to turn around. It's, it's about changing your perspective and it's sitting right on top of the transformation card, which indicates that that's a really important aspect for you to pay attention to. Um, remember, you're the boss. Like you really, you can make your thoughts a practice. It's okay to experience this, just don't stay here. Card number two, Knight of Pentacles. Really working on your boundaries. That is coming up bigger than anything else. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is kind of like arming yourself, protecting yourself energetically, spiritually, um, and physically. Really making sure that you have everything dialed in so that you're not, you know, all over the place. It, it looks like this is necessary for your healing because you're doing big work. So make sure your boundaries are dialed in. And then we have the hanged man for card number three. This is same old, same old business as usual. Things happening in, um, there's a certain level of alignment. So even if you're not able to see the, the purpose of things or the way it's working out, it's kind of nice that you have this rest you have this rest right here because the hanged man kind of indicates a standstill. And so I see that as being an important time period for you. Okay, now that is all I have in terms of the reading. But for those of you um, who are interested in the giveaway I have going, please, please pay attention to this next part. Um, I am offering, I'm, I'm going to be giving away a free custom tarot spread. Um, that gets delivered to your email with an audio recording and all that good stuff. Um, you can browse them all on my website if you're looking to see what you know which ones are offered. Um, <clears throat> so I'm 
posting the explanation or like the directions in the description box so you can read about it. But just go ahead and follow me at Onyx Healing on Instagram and then all of the instructions are um, down below on the post that says giveaway. You just tag a friend. It's super simple. Um, and that is how you enter the giveaway. The winner is going to be announced on March 14th. And that is the giveaway I have going. So you have now until March 14th to, or I mean, I guess it's more like March 13th, um, unless you catch me really early in the morning, March 14th. Um, so that is, um, that's it in terms of the giveaway. And the other thing that I am also doing um, is I'm going to be increasing the prices of single questions. All of my services other than single questions are staying the same, but the single question readings are going from 10 to $13 as of March 14th. So if you still want to get your single question reading for $10, do that this month um, because they just, they do take a lot of time. They take, I, I give them a lot of attention and I really take time to dive into the answer that you know you're you're seeking um, or that you're looking for information on and so it's something that I um, I just I have to because I do give so much in those readings I just have to bump up the price just a little bit um, for it to be be worthwhile and for it to be a good value for you and for me. And so that is what's happening with that. So March 14th, that's the date. And then also don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. Um, that is where you can get a free solar year reading during your birthday month. It gets delivered directly to your inbox. And then you also get email notifications from me about, um, I, I don't, I don't spam you or anything like that. It's simply letting you know when these readings are out. I know sometimes YouTube doesn't publish all of the readings or send out notifications. So sign up for my newsletter. If you want more, um, more content, more, more bonus goodies and stuff like that. And then don't forget to follow me on Facebook where I do live readings each week and I do um, oracle readings at the end of the month where you can get a card read. And as always, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, all of the links are in the description box and all of the decks that I'm using today are in the description box as well. Okay, thank you so much, Cancer. Have a beautiful February, or March and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.